This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome to an exciting video today. We are reviewing the Realm of Magic Game Pack. Um, so before we begin, I just want to go ahead and say that, um, it feels like it's been freaking forever since I've gotten a chance to talk to you guys. I have actually been in school now for a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, when I'm recording this, it is like a Sunday night right now. So yeah, I just been like trying to take the day a little bit easy because I feel like I lately I've been not getting that much sleep and like I've been like doing homework like all weekend and then like meanwhile trying to record for you guys so I hope you really really do enjoy this or my, my effort towards this because I tried I really did <laughs> don't at me um but yeah I do before I start talking about the update I mean before I start talking about the game pack I just wanted to say we did get a brand new update if you have not seen yet um we have gotten a stair configuration now so now you can make l-shaped stairs and very 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 is shapes i'm sorry oh my god my speech is terrible right now <laughs> um as well as some new items for um sims that are of muslim descent so you can create them more accurately now um as well as we got a um like a couple of like bug fixes and we got the island counter that was missing from island paradise <sighs> but unfortunately it does not have the correct swatches um so about that <laughs> we'll move on um i still love and still love the sims team regardless oh 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 and that reminds me guys guess what i got followed by the original account like this weekend and i was like i like low-key like started screaming like when i found out i was like oh my god that is so cool um and i just like thought i might share it with you guys because some of you guys might think it's cool too if not it's okay <laughs> but yeah let's talk about the magic pack because it is so cool guys i freaking love this pack and i don't know okay there's some things i like about it and there's some things i don't like about it but we are going to talk about the things I like about it. And before we do go, go go on any further, I did something really stupid. I forgot to turn the sims that I'm doing greatest sim on um, into spellcasters, which is what they call them now. Um, so unfortunately, I will have to wait to like put them up on the gallery for you guys um, until the MC commander like patches that in to like turn occult sims into um, witches or like I find the mage or whatever like that that can turn them really and turn them really into easily into spellcasters so i'm so sorry about that but i will get these guys up in the gallery if you guys do want them um but yeah i want to talk about the things i like about this pack first so um the hairs female hairs are really really nice i do feel like um i really like the short one because there was a short one i didn't use it on the sim because i really just felt like this I don't know I just felt this for her like I when I was creating the sim I was kind of like I want to do something fun and crazy and add some crazy hair colors and do some fun things like that because I don't feel like I normally do that enough um <laughs> so this sim is like kind of crazier I guess from my normal style but like I love her and I love the dude too they're both cool um but yeah as I was saying hairstyles there's one hairstyle that was like short and had like pointy bangs um as well as there was a few new hairstyles that are um more culturally i'm um, not culture like culture appropriate kind of thing um and i did appreciate those in game one of them did have some um really pretty like colorings on them col pretty colory swatches um for clothes on the other hand we did get a quite a we did get like a quite a few um like what in which call full body outfits that I did really like. Like there is this like really hot leather dress. I was like, okay, girl, I see you. And then there was like this other piece that really stuck out in my mind too. That kind of like gave me like Little House on the Prairie vibes, kind of like more classic witchy kind of thing. Um, as well as the guys, they got a quite they got a, like a couple of new like decent outfits too like i really like their full body outfits full body outfits really stuck out for me in this pack um but you we did get some new nice tops a gorgeous skirt that, I, that will be very very usable and various other things that you guys can see on screen um i yeah i just i really appreciate the sims team do listening to us and like putting more like flat colors into the um 
into like the swatches because I do really feel like black and white and things like that are very important colors I feel like when you do have them because they make it way more usable and way more versatile for a lot of sims and that way you can accessorize them easier <laughs> I also too really really love the makeup in this pack like there is this like star decal thing as well as accessories like there's these like really cool like earrings that have like various piercings on it that are really really cool um you guys probably seen it early earlier on in the video um that i like really appreciated too the only thing i was really surprised that they didn't have in this pack was a hat like i was expecting a witch hat i don't know if like the direction of this is that they kind of like wanted to stray away from more like typical kind of occult kind of nature um so i get it i i, I feel like they were kind of going for that in this kind of pack but i don't know i feel like I feel like we should at least have had like one witch hat that's just me though <laughs> and yeah and like you can just see too because like there is this outfit that i use more for a winter outfit that looked like more warmer and things like that so there's lots of different outfits for various sims i did appreciate they're more being like an edgy style and then they're being more of a like normal classic occult kind of thing um for the males um <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry guys for the males. They have two hairs. They have one hair. That's like a bit more curlier um, The one I use on this dude and there is this other one that has like slick back and then it curls at the end um, Funny thing is actually when I was creating this sim one of my IRL friends was in the room and Like she and it was kind of funny because like she was kind of like getting involved with this like <laughs> She was like, no, she's like, don't use that hair. She's like, that reminds me of like serial killer hair. Cause it was kind of funny. Cause she was like watching like a serial killer documentary or something like that on Netflix. And I was like, serial killer hair. Like, what are you talking about? And then she like turns around to her laptop. And then there was a guy who was a serial killer coming out of the <laughs> coming out of the car with the haircut. So I was like, okay, then I won't use that hair, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I just thought I might throw in that little antidote for you guys. Um, but yeah, it just also too, when you do create your spellcaster sim, um, or witcher, wizard, whatever you want to use, I don't know, they call them spellcasters, I'm just going with the theme of the pack. And uh, you, you do have an option, oh my god, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. You have, okay, yeah, so you do have an option, too, if you do want to make, like, a second form for them, kind of like mermaids and vampires, um, if you do want to create them, I believe. Ooh, I think so. Don't hold me to that. I believe that. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot to do, like, on that end. Um, so you can, like, have, like, them have, like, a normal kind of more look and then they can have like their witchy look i guess if you want to um but yeah i, I always appreciate that because it always gives an opportunity for more customization um and yeah and of course do spell casters this time around are a lot like vampires so they do have that like similar kind of menu thing like the celebrities have um where as you level up you get like a point system and you get to use them on certain things and things i'm not that familiar however with if they how they affect like if there is negative to it like the vampires i haven't delved too deep yet personally in it, the gameplay kind of aspect i kind like i said i went in blind nine this time like i i was like low-key kind of like planning on doing something like i was gonna go ahead and originally do like like a witch characters from the sims 3 and to the sims 4 but my but yeah my friend just inspired me she's like no she's like go in blind she's like do something different so i was like you know what i'll do something different <laughs> hopefully you guys like it me just like going in and just doing what i felt like for once um but yeah <laughs> also to um you can also have familiars um so if you guys aren't really familiar with what familiars are um for those of you guys i feel like that have watched the chilling adventures of sabrina you'll know what it is but basically it's like a pet that like protects your sim and i believe if you do have cats and dogs you, the cats can become a familiar i'm not sure if your dog can become a familiar i don't know um, and then they have like some more creative like ones that they 
they created in game like owls and um ravens i even believe that there's even like a dragon one and like a little fairy one um yeah so there's like a bunch of different ones um they're really really cute i've seen them in screenshots i haven't actually played around with them that much yet um and yeah we're coming like close to the near the end of um the created some part of this video so we're gonna like jump into the build and buy area which i'm super duper excited to show you guys because well i just i don't know the world is so beautiful it is so pretty it isn't that big but it is really pretty um and uh, i should also add too that even though that the base world in this town is quite small um, there is a, another secret town that if you go through the portal, um, that you can go to that has like three different sections of it. So like one is the gardens area, one is like the duelers area, and then one is like the town center. So you kind of, in a way, you kind of do get a whole town, um, but just not in a typical kind of way. So yeah, and I just, I was like really pleased. I kind of like, it, this place kind of gave me a cross between, um, Windenburg and uh, the junk not the jungle adventure world what was it outdoor retreat pack world um a lot so yeah I, I really like this I would have loved to seen seen this world honestly really like full full on um but uh, yeah I just I feel like though I feel like it I feel like this is like a really like more than big enough pack for a for a game pack <laughs> um for a world and as well as like getting the whole like secret not, not really even secret really to be honest but like an add-on world thing along with it so i feel like it's good when you guys play the pack you guys see what i mean and if i just depending on what my thumbnail is because i don't know what my thumbnail is too um i took some i took a lot of screenshots but yeah there's one bug that i guess i should point out in this <laughs> that i noticed after i updated my game that is driving me freaking bonkers and i know it's other people have been having this issue too and it's the issue of the fact that when you place down columns for some reason they're not the same height as the wall height anymore like you have to like literally change this watch then change it back for it to go back to normal wall height and i don't know why that is but it's a really odd glitch that we're having i'm guessing it maybe has something to do with the with the um <sighs> sorry with the, with the um staircases because i told you that you can now configure staircases um, I, I thought I might I should add to that in this build I did cut out quite a bit because I was fiddling with the new staircases for a really long time <laughs> as well as the floor pan like I go back and forth with this floor pan a lot um, because I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do um, one thing I really 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 liked about this pack is the absolute gorgeous stain windows that they have um yeah there's like some really pretty ones with like ones like with moons on them and of course i had to use the one with the rose on it but also too the one with the rose on it reminded me of beauty and the beast when i was creating that night like, and i was like i love this i want 20 of these <laughs> and they're just like really really pretty so i thought that was like a really nice detail that they didn't have to add in but they did <laughs> and um what else do they have they so they have brand new wallpapers um we get oh too we get a really pretty bed that matches like the stained glass windows too that's like a canopy bed and there's one in um single bed size um but however it doesn't have the canopy on it but it's still really gorgeous um but i hardly have to say though one of my favorite items for the entire pack um was this bassinet we got a brand new baby bassinet and guys it is so freaking pretty it is so delicate and it's so beautiful and it is so small and so cute and i hope you can use that on normal babies too and not just like the spellcaster ones because it is so cute and it looks like it could be for any baby really to be honest and that's why i really liked it because like we kind of need a new bassinet and i feel like that one is versatile enough to like make it into i don't know like a really luxurious one like a really luxurious nursery or something like that and that's why originally when i was going to use like use it for a second bedroom i was like no we're turning this into a nursery because that item is just too perfect <laughs> um yeah i have my tea with me right now i'm almost done with it but i'm gonna take a zip um so cheers guys <sighs> okay 
so back to the build <laughs> yeah because as you can see like here like i'm just kind of like going on and trying to like find a like trying to find windows that looked good with the ones that i originally had um I was like a little struggling a bit. I was a little struggling a bit because like they have like the kind of fancier windows and then they have these like more whimsical looking windows that kind of just didn't really go with the style of build because I was kind of going more for a cottage-ish cottage look kind of look and feel um, just because I feel like that kind of like suits the whole kind of witch thing kind of more I guess <laughs> and I was just like really going town really going to town for it I was like really going home for it <laughs> I was like really trying for it and I just I think and I think it uh, worked all works out in the end um one thing I really do like too that was in the update um was I really appreciated that they added new stilt foundations um but like ones that look like they're not necessarily have to be for the beach I use it in this house too um and yeah what, what else something else I really really like oh the refrigerator and like the counters are fancy guys they are freaking fancy and there's like these like little details too even on the desk that has like a glowing orb kind of thing and it's and they call it like the willow wisp desk which i found was kind of funny because an outdoor retreat like the very very first game pack they had like a bug that you could collect called the willow wisp and it was just i was like hmm I'm like did we have a hint like all the way back then that they were gonna do this pack i don't know maybe it was just coincidence but you know us sims and our conspiracy theories and our hints <laughs> i know like all of you are like where's university um but yeah maybe someday anyway we're talking about witches and witcher wi witches and wizards um one thing too that i really really liked about this pack is the dueling the dueling was really really cool um honestly like one of the best like i i have to say like as far as like gameplay goes the i feel like these are like the best witches kind of like vampires i feel like they're really really detailed this time around and i really do like it um I always been personally more partial to the witches in the in like these kind of su more supernatural packs than like the vampires just because I don't know if anyone else feels this way but does anyone else feel like the vampires like just annoyingly live too long and <laughs> you can like never do anything with them because they can never go out and go out in the sunlight because they're gonna die so yeah I don't know I feel like I've always been more partial to witches so I feel like that's why I was personally a little bit more excited for this pack than I was for vampires. Um, one thing too um, that I really didn't get much to check out was I didn't get a chance to check out really the toddlers if they got anything or like the kids as well as like the pets. I don't know if they got anything extra um, because like obviously if you have um, a cat or something like that, you could use them as you're familiar. I don't know if they did that. I could potentially see seeing that being a little bit problematic though if they did and you didn't have like cats and dogs so like i don't really know on that end but yeah i'm i'm guessing we'll find out together guys um but yeah i i like you guys told me before that you really like the whole two-in-one video so i was like i will mash up one video and just kind of go on a rant with you guys and just kind of like like take it all home because i know you guys like that some of you guys are like don't really want to sit there and see me react, react to every single little thing and some of you guys just like want it want it to be like used in a way where i can display it for you guys and it, you guys can just like see it all put together rather just in pieces so that's why i feel like these are these are fun for me because um you guys guys get to see it but you guys also get to see a build at the same time one thing i did really like when i was exploring was that there was a that there was a couple of shops that where you could buy broomsticks um as well as wands and like orbs kind of thing i'm guessing for some spells as well as different spell books and it just it was just really really cool there was like so many different options and familiars and things like that um but you have to go to the secret world to go ahead and get them however in build and buy catalog there was like a there was like a box for like um for like a wand so i'm not really sure if you could buy them straight from there or you always have to go there to buy them um that's another thing i have to go ahead and check out um 
but yeah i really 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 like the cauldrons because i use the more basic one but there is a really really fancy one i just felt like the more basic one just kind of like suited our cottage feel <laughs> that you can actually make mac and cheese in it it is so funny and so random <laughs> that you can just make macaroni and cheese and like just like have like this like big old pot this big old pot like if you were having like a party good way to feed everybody honestly and it was i just i just seen it and just kind of like made me laugh no so yeah of course there's always like little quirky sims goodness even to you can see in this build that i was kind of trying to like have a more kind of vintage feel to it so that's why i gave them like an old style like an older style tv and like have it be small and stuff like that because i was like they're witches they probably don't care about modern technology as much and things like that if you guys were going for that kind of stereotype if you guys wanted to go ahead and download this of course i will put it up on the gallery when it is ready um like when the pack is ready to come out there you go i got it in the end <laughs> and there in there here you can see too that like really ba beautiful baby bassinet um that i was like hyping up and i was like talking about yeah i don't know i feel like it's like a really random thing to be like yeah that was my favorite item in the pack but it was my favorite item of the pack <laughs> um and also too that <coughs> sorry also too that there was a brand new like bathroom set so we got a new shower sink and toilet they're really really fancy kind of like the vampire ones and i do really feel like vampire pack and this one go hand in hand like really really good so if you guys have that pack too um you can like potentially make a really sick cool house um because they they kind of like both go with that kind of magical vintage kind of theme i guess you could say um and i see you see it a lot even too in like the kitchen set downstairs and like the chairs and things like that um and the tables um we got a couple new couches um a coffee table a couple new side tables there's there's plenty to explore in this pack um but yeah i just like i guess i kind of kind of want to go ahead and say do you guys think it's worth it um like what are some of the things that you didn't see that you that i wish i would have um but personally yeah i feel like i wanted a witch hat i feel like i don't know why I, that's like something really silly and small but that's something i really really wanted um one thing also too that i don't know if it was an accident or we just didn't get it on purpose like just for whatever reason but when i was placing down the counters i did not see a matching cabinet on top like you know like the top cabinets i didn't see one in there for matching so i don't know if that was accidentally left out um because it wouldn't be the first time that the sims have accidentally left out like kitchen counter cabinet problems um i'm not shading at all <laughs> but yeah I, th I thought that was a little odd um that we didn't get them but um but yeah those are like the two things i feel like that i feel like were the most problematic to me otherwise i'd say that i was like pretty happy about this pack i i definitely think that you get like a bang for your buck um i definitely think it's worth it especially too with like halloween coming around um or for you guys that don't celebrate halloween i guess just like fall in general um for just kind of celebrating that <laughs> is just really nice i guess to have and yeah and i'm sorry i'm like this video is a uh, video is a lot of like stop and go that's why i cut out a lot of it like parts that i was like sitting there for like so long and like no action was happening because like i think on the at the time i was like talking to a friend on the phone or either on like discord or something like that so like i was i was like trying to like multitask while i was doing this and yeah honestly guys busy busy weekend like between like editing and then like um doing homework and then like have trying to have social life but guess what we got there in the end and i always like feel i and honestly too like when i got that follow from the official sims account like i was like oh damn that is so cool i was like it fuels my need to work on this video even though i am so tired <laughs> and it is like 11 o'clock at night i was like we are gonna get this done we are gonna go and we're gonna we are not going to disappoint my viewers because they all all of them are freaking amazing um and all of them deserve to see a good review <laughs> um but yeah anyway back to the packs the things i did like i really like the menu kind of options for 
the game, like for the spellcasters. I really, really like the world. And like this world and like the magical world that you go through through the portal. That one's so cool, so very unique. Like with the whole kind of, there's kind of like more of like an astral feel. Like it kind of like feels like you're floating in space. And I really, really like that. Um, it, gives, it reminds me a lot of Sixum. So like in my mind, maybe Sixum and um, like this spellcaster world, Glimmerbrook or, Glimmerbrook or whatever this that place is called. Um, is like not that far away from each other Ooh, idea <laughs> if you guys wanted for an lp or something like that for those of you guys who have a channel it might be a good idea um but yeah i just I, I really appreciated that like world building just gets honestly better and better and better as pack just like goes along and I, I I don't know. I always feel like personally for me the worlds are like one of the best things about the packs just because they just do such a great job on it. Every world is just, every world is just so scenic and so beautiful and yeah, I just I just I'm just like so happy because I'm so glad that I get to do this for you guys and I get to review and tell you guys the goods, the bads, the uglies, the beautifuls um, and just tell you guys how it is and how I feel. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend this pack. Um, I believe it's 20 USD if it's a game pack. Um, oop. Yeah, don't don't quote me on that. I think it's 20 USD. <laughs> I have no idea what it is in other countries' currencies because I am American and I don't know. Um, but you know what? That's one thing I should find out. I should find out for you guys how much it is in euros at least or something like that next time I do that. I feel like that, that will be on my list. I will ask somebody that's European how much they pay for the packs just so... Or even you guys in your comment section down below. How much do you typically pay for packs that are like European? Or for you guys that live in the UK? Or even you guys that live in Australia? I'm just really curious to know. Because it will help me when I do these videos. To be like, okay, so it's this price. And it's this price. And it's this price. So I can just accurately tell you guys better. Um, so yeah, if you want to help me out, do it. If not, it's okay. I still love you all. <laughs> um, and also too, I also want to go ahead and thank you guys too for nearly 2,500 um, subscribers. I also did hit 3,600 subs, no, not, not subscribers, followers on Twitter. So yeah, that was, that was a cool milestone for me too. And yeah, I just, I'm feeling the love guys. I'm always feeling the love from you. <laughs> and also too, this is like a really unrelated note, but I know it's like, so stereotypical to be like witches halloween and things like that but i but i had to like add the freaking patchy scarecrow thing like with the pumpkins out in the backyard i just felt like it was in must i just feel like if you're a witch you'd have a patchy and that's and that's that um also too i added like a seed packet thing um like on the deck somewhere um because apparently there's new magical fruit which is really interesting that's something for you guys to go ahead and explore um or even if you guys want to see me do like a little mini series or like do like maybe even a video just like exploring gameplay let me know in the future um because i'm always trying to like look for a new gameplay for you guys because i noticed you guys do enjoy the builds more and the creative sims more but i'm always willing to try new things also do thank you for you guys that actually watch my vegas vlog because i did do a vlog and it was definitely something new experience for me to do and i just love i just love creating for you guys honestly whether it's sims content or other games like fortnite and all that jazz and like i know i did life is strange for a while and like the choose your own adventure games and like the role playing games and just vlogging i love doing it all like i'm i feel like i'm a bit of a jack of all trades because like i don't know i'm like i i feel like it's just odd because i do feel like a lot of my friends in real life that are girls they don't really they don't really get the whole gaming thing but i really love it <laughs> and i just feel like i'm a girl who really likes doing things like watching makeup like, like watching like makeup tutorials and not tutorials but like people do their makeup and things like that i always find that quite relaxing and fun i feel like i'm quite good at makeup if i don't want to toot my own horn but i i feel like i can do eyeshadow pretty well if i have the time i feel like i can do a full face of makeup pretty well at least on me <laughs> um but yeah but i also like doing things like this too and just kind of just relaxing and just having fun with it because I feel like being able to create something is like a really, a really a cool, unique thing. Um, and it just, I feel like everyone needs their own creative outlet, no matter what it is that they have. I just feel like everyone should have one. 
And I feel like I'm getting a little bit more philosophical at the end of this like review video. I have no idea what the heck this has to do with freaking like um, witches and wizards or whatever like that. But yeah, you can see that like I I do really enjoy this pack. Beautiful doors, beautiful everything. Honestly, like the I like I don't really have any complaints for um, the which I'm gonna call it the the build and buy items other really than the cabinet tree. Like I just thought that was odd. I was like why i don't know man i feel like they need to have somebody check things before they release packs or release updates because there are some bugs lately that are just no <laughs> and i i feel like i'm roasting but i'm not i'm not i promise i just i just want good things for us i want good things and i just feel like someone needs to be real sometimes and just not sugarcoat them because like i'm not gonna lie like i freaking love everything i really do i just i just don't i just i just don't think it's okay <laughs> when when like we get staircases and then something else breaks like that's i don't know i just thought it was odd that they just that it just wasn't tested because like it's not just me i know people have been complaining this all over twitter and like tumblr and things like that so yeah, that, that, that's a thing. That's a thing. But yeah, otherwise, freaking love this pack. Go check it out, guys. Go create your own own witches and wizards when, when it comes out. Um, as well as check out all the cool build and buy items as well. And the gameplay. The gameplay is freaking amazing. Make sure you get a sim to duel with because that is out of this world. And that is one of the coolest things. It gives me Harry Potter vibes. And yeah, make sure you guys comment, rate, and subscribe. And make sure you guys put down, down the love down below in the comments section um and keep it going we're yeah like i said we're almost at 2.5 um and thousand subscribers and yeah i love you guys also enjoy the pack and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will speak to you guys soon okay bye 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 Mwah.